What is up with the film industry recently? Now, unless you've been living under a rock or in a cave, you've probably noticed that today was the big release of the new Matrix Resurrections film. Suddenly, after years of not a peep from the studio, we're back in the Matrix. And not just that, but recently, the new Spider-Man movie came out that featured literally every single villain, plus every Spider-Man, so I guess now they're Spider-Men, featured in this film. And not just that, but a new Ghostbusters film came out, and suddenly at the end of the movie, the old characters from decades ago rocked up. And then perhaps, the biggest news, the biggest bombshell of them all, this 20-year Harry Potter anniversary reunion back to Hogwarts. And it kind of begs the question, what on earth do all these things have in common? And I wonder, is it perhaps the case that sometimes in eras or times of great difficulty, great confusion and great challenge, such as we're living through now, with this ever-mutating, ever-changing coronavirus pandemic, do we sometimes have this pull within us to look back at the good old days and binge on nostalgia? Now, perhaps unsurprisingly, this question does appear in Jewish literature. In the book of Kohelet, King Solomon asks it explicitly. He says, there will be a time, and it's perfectly natural, when things are going bad and things are tough, that you look back in the rearview mirror of life and you say, I wish I could just go back to when times made sense and things felt good. We've all been there, it's completely normal, sitting there in that comfortable cinema seat, the lights are dim, the popcorn is fresh, the Coca-Cola is watered down and overpriced, and for just a few measly hours, we can forget the chaos and suffering around us and return to a place of warmth, comfort and understanding. Maybe it's our childhood. Maybe it's a memory that we look to anchor ourselves to and just escape for a brief moment. The problem is, and I think this is hinted to in the title of that new Spider-Man film, it's really no way home. You cannot turn back the hands of time. And if you do find yourselves, as we do now, in a period and an environment that is extremely difficult and challenging, the reality is the only way to go is forward. And for those two and a half hours, it may be we escape, but they provide us with absolutely no solutions in a lasting way for the problems that exist around us. Does that mean nostalgia is a complete waste of time and all you good people are being robbed by the film industry? I don't really think so. I mean, after all, we all have photos of our childhood selves and long lost loved ones standing on our mantelpieces and shelves and we look at them with a fondness, and it does bring us a feeling of warmth. So when you're sitting there enjoying the fuzzy warm memories as you're watching The Matrix or Harry Potter, Ghostbusters or Spider-Man, what's really going on is for that brief two to three hours we are escaping and switching off from the chaos and suffering all around us. And in a way, that is a comforting reassurance that tells us just like times weren't always bad, they won't always be bad either. And so then, when we've had that breathing space and that chance to regroup, the question when the credits roll is, are we ready to confront the future?